everybody and welcome to Fab Tax. I'm Rosemary and today I'm excited to share a quick and easy Pottery Barn inspired wood lantern. We have it in various sizes, shapes and colors and of course as always it's a Dollar Tree DIY. If you like the video please remember to give a thumbs up and please comment to let me know which one was your favorite. Also please share with any family or friends you think might also like the video and if you enjoy these types of videos please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. And with that let's get started. To make the black lantern, I took two of these wall hangings from the Dollar Tree. These are the ones that are about six inches uh, around or six inches square. Then for the risers, I'm going to use four of the Dollar Tree plungers with the plunger bottom removed. And you just do that by unscrewing uh, the plunger head from the pole right like that. Now I just wanted to point out that if you can find the six inch squares with the little uh, pieces inside. Those are nicer because you don't have to remove any of the glitter on most of the other ones have that glitter uh, print on it. And also you can use those little inserts for other projects. Also, when you buy the plungers, make sure you buy them all from the same store. I actually bought a couple from one store and a couple from another, and they seem to be two different lots. So even when you're buying them in the same store, uh, make sure that they are all the same size because I did have to saw uh, one of mine off because I had it from a different store and as you can see here's how long it was uh, It was longer than the other pieces. So I had to uh, cut that piece off So just make sure you have them all the same size when you purchase them from the store Okay, so to start I'm going to just remove the little wall hanging off the back of the plaque Just use the screwdriver to pop that right off and then because I am using one with the glitter front, I'm going to need to sand off that glitter before I begin. Now since the second piece is going to be on the bottom, you really don't need to sand that off, but you can if you want to. For the feet of the lantern, I'm going to use these little game dice from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just put a hot glue four to each corner and I am going to make sure that the dice are in the same direction because you will see the imprint on the outside of uh, the lantern. To attach the poles, I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue. Um, I'm, for the plunger, I'm going to put the uh, twist top at the top. Uh, because um, it does cover get covered by the lid um, and also I just want to have a nice solid base or nice solid surface for my glue to attach with so I'm going to just add some E6000 to the bottom and then also the bottom side there as shown and then I'm going to also take some hot glue and put a strip of hot glue above the strip of E6000 on the side of the pole and then I'm going to just place it into the corner of uh, the of the wall hanging and uh, just hold it there until the the hot glue is set and then I'm going to just um, place it down so that it, it can stay in frame because it is kind of tall and um, you can see how the a lid just pops right on the poles there at the top and I'm going to not glue this down so that I can remove it in order to make different flower arrangements or different candles and there you can see the feet and um, then I'm going to just take the whole thing and give it a coat of black paint. To make the topper for this lantern I'm going to take the lid and then one of the plunger heads and also one of these Dollar Tree shower curtain hooks. I'm just going to remove that inner piece there with uh, wire cutters. And then the curtain ring will be attached to the neck of the plunger there as shown. And then I'm just going to hot glue and E6000 everything in place. And here you can see the finished lantern after everything has been painted black. I've also added a Dollar Tree vase and a battery operated candle. There is also a smaller version which I will be making next. To make the smaller black lantern I used these dowels from Walmart. They come three to a pack for $1.88 so I did have to buy two packs for that. Um, and then also more of the wall hangings, six inch square wall hangings from the Dollar Tree. 
I'm also going to make a different topper. Um, here I'm using one of those magnetic uh, round tins from the Dollar Tree and also one of these smaller square wall hangings. And then um, just you can just glue those together and then it just creates a different look, like a more Asian style or modern feel to the lantern. And then I'm gonna assemble everything the same way as I did the larger lantern and then paint everything black. And here they are again, both large and small with the battery operated candle in the glass Dollar Tree vase and this time with that more modern lid. And you can see just what that little change, what a big difference in the style that made. Here are some other options. This is an arrangement of battery operated candles with no glass. And then here's an arrangement of Dollar Tree velvet pumpkins. And because it's that time of year again, here's some skulls. But I will be using these lanterns in upcoming videos decorated for various holidays and events. Now before I go on to the white lantern, I just wanted to point out some of the different uh, bases and lids that you can use. So um, they come in different sizes, those little wall hangings. So that one there is about eight inches, I think, square. And then there's the six inch. And you can use those in different combinations again to create different toppers. Um, they also have these great little wooden boxes and you can take the lids off of those and create uh, a lantern from those and then another type of lantern from the bases. And then um, also there are the other little plaques that have the little inserts like I showed earlier. And again, those are great because they can you can remove those other little pieces for another project. Or you could leave them in and uh, use those as a base for your vase or candle to sit on as well. And then of course the best part about these is that the backs of them do not need to have the glitter removed. Next I wanted to show you some feet options for your lantern. And these are just bottle caps from various items, uh, iced tea, milk. Uh, cartons that type of thing and then also these little napkin rings from the Dollar Tree also make great feet and then these are just party favors from the Dollar Tree they could also be used uh, some corks that might be an option and these are some rubber chair tips also beads would make a great uh, uh, feet for your lantern and these are yo-yos from the Dollar Tree for the risers, we already used uh, the plunger and saw the dowels, uh, but also the Dollar Tree has things like these little shovels. They're just attached with a little screw to the back. You just have to remove the screw and then the uh, top just pops right off. Those make great. Also these Dollar Tree wire brushes, if you remove the bristles with the pliers, also make great risers. And then this is a uh, toy from the Dollar Tree and um, it just has a screw to the back. You can remove that screw and then that little blade just pops right out. You can put the screw back together and then you have a great cool looking riser. I'm actually gonna be doing a Halloween lantern with that so you might wanna check back to see that. And then um, items like this, larger items like this um, dustpan, uh, gonna be making a nice big lantern from that. So you might wanna check that out as well. And the toppers are lots of fun too. You can just mix and match all kinds of different items to get different looks and effects. Um, household items like this, you know, can of dog food with one of those chair tips can make a cute topper. And then maybe the can with another one of the wall plaques. You know, just mix and match and, and you can create all different types of styles. So like this can and this yo-yo from the Dollar Tree or different Dollar Tree plastic wear. And you can just go, you know, wherever your imagination takes you, whenever uh, look that you're, you're trying to get, trying to achieve. Also, if you wanted a ring at the top, we already did the shower curtain ring, but you could use like this bug catcher, uh, it has a great ring on top, a child's bracelet from the Dollar Tree. Also this little uh, tiara, party tiara uh, hat, you can just use the band from that to create a nice ring. And now back to the lanterns. For the larger white lantern, I'm going to use two of the six inch wall hangings and then also some of the milk carton uh, caps for uh, the feet. And then I'm going to use four of the uh, handles from the Dollar Tree shovel. Just remove that screw and then that pops right off. For the topper, I'm gonna to use this sink plunger from the Dollar Tree. And you can see, uh, I would just attach that to the lid of the lantern and then just paint everything after that. 
And so like I did with the black one, I just attached the feet first. And then I went and attached the poles by adding some E6000 to the very bottom and then the bottom side of the pole. And then on top of that strip of E6000, I put a strip of hot glue and then just held the pole in place until the uh, hot glue was set and then did that for all four poles. For the smaller white lantern, I again used two of the six inch wall hangings and I do try to get those in white because it's just easier to paint when I'm making a white lantern. And then again, the dowels from Walmart. And then for the topper, I'm gonna try that Tierra headband with a can, a dog food can, and then the yo-yo from the Dollar Tree and see what that looks like, how that comes together. So after all the risers were glued in, it was time to make my topper. So I took my lid that had been sanded down and then um, using the yo-yo, I removed, just unscrewed it and removed the string inside and then uh, removed the cardboard from the tiara. So I just wanted the band. And then I just went ahead and uh, put some hot glue on the edges of the headband and then attached them to the side of the can. And then once that was secure, I went back with some more hot glue on the edges of the yo-yo and glued that to the middle of the can. And then uh, the whole top piece uh, I took outside and sprayed with some of the Rust-Oleum hammered silver spray paint. So here we have both the small and large white lanterns, both with the different toppers. And notice that the small one doesn't have any feet. So again, it's just different designs, different styles that you might like. And you know, just get some different ideas from places like Pottery Barn and design it as you like. And again, I will be decorating these for different holidays and events in upcoming videos. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this quick and easy Pottery Barn inspired wood lantern DIY. And I hope it has inspired you to make some of your own lantern creations in the colors, sizes, and styles that you like. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give a thumbs up and uh, please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Also, please share with any family and friends you think would enjoy this video. And again, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.